Dude, now, if you would like dude. to join the cult of BKL, <laughs> sometimes I'm feeling like the sun that's such a feat. Yeah, so do it with the feet. I shoot and ski. Yeah. No shake my hand or reach. I throw the beats, I go to sleep and show my reach. Ask for treats. Silent sweep, fill my wrath to peace. It's my greed, spinning round my head. Go Fred, leave it red, made it red. All the blood I bled, all the blood I'm breaking bread. Through a flood and now I'm dead. Hear a thud, it's time to shit. My outer shell went through a living hell. Now I'm here to dwell in my cell. Steady yells, all that you can spell. Made of a depressing cell. Having re Alrighty lads, is this camera in focus? Is that camera ready? Yes it is. That camera's good. That is recording. <sighs> I saw that recording. We got Star Wars fucking pod racing shit in the background. Star going Wars. Going fucking insane. Dude, and uh, okay, welcome to Broke Knock Life Podcast episode 24 <laughs> we, where we beat our meat. And we go to sleep. Dude, I just watched the recent episode of The Mandalorian, and if you haven't seen that shit, I would highly, I have not highly seen recommend any of it. that. Because although Star Wars has fucked up a lot of shit for me recently, this this and the Clone Wars saves everything for me. Have you seen the Clone, the Clone Wars animated series? No. It's by George Lucas. Oh, really? So, and it's just... It just delves into more shit. And it's so fucking... Like, it gives you what you want in Star Wars. Mm -hmm. Like, you know how... Uh, like I hadn't even see, seen all the movies. Well, whenever you see, well, whenever you see a movie, I, I knew you weren't like a like a really big Star Wars fan. I have seen. Cause I I am. I've seen a bunch of them. Not every single one of them. Mm -hmm. I probably hadn't seen like maybe two or three of them. But I saw the last, the most recent one. The the last Jedi. The yeah. last. Mm -hmm. I saw that one. That so, was actually pretty good. Yeah. So so you know, uh, like in a movie, uh. You'll see some shit, and you're like, I wish this fucking happened. That'll be so fucking badass. Oh, yeah. That's how I feel the Clone Wars and the Mandalorian uh, are. are for the Star Wars franchise. Oh, shit. Mandalorian is like, you know, Jango and Boba Fett? Ow. Those bounty hunters with yeah. like, the mask? That's like, the Mandalorians are like the like the original dudes. So oh. it's more on like a solo Mandalorian. Trying yeah, because to find his you got kind. Baby Yoda, so like you get to find out how like the or the, like the origin story. Dude, and is it still on? Uh, Disney, like an ex it's Disney an exclusive. Plus, yep. Damn, dude, I'll do let, they offer free I'll, trials? I'll let you uh, use my login. If you promise to watch the Mandalorian, I'll give you my login. Hell yeah, <laughs> I will. I'll straight up because I just started. I'll, I'm only paying for it whenever the Mandalorian comes out. Oh, I've really? already seen all the other Star Wars stuff. So I'm well, not is there a pay. free trial? Ow. Oh, uh, yeah. There's sh maybe a week. Maybe a week. So How I'll, many seasons of The Mandalorian? One season, and they're pretty lengthy episodes, like 45 minutes. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. And they're on episode three of season uh, two right now. And the season reveal, three, episode two right now? I'm talking about it right now because the reveal that just happened... No, I'm not gonna say it, but it, it's mind blowing. It's yeah, something it. that I always wanted, and it happened. Like, like I fucking said, the Mandalorian and the Clone Wars are doing that. Like for Baby Yoda Star choking Wars. someone out. Yes, I think it's as relevant as a Baby Yoda reveal. It's oh, on that same level, maybe a hair below it, because Baby Yoda is a fucking yeah, that's mind blowing yeah, that's, reveal. That's mind blower right yeah. there. Yeah, but seriously, seriously, a step below, like a small step below. But, uh, so shout out to all the Star Wars lads and ladettes that follow the podcast. Shout out. <laughs> we will be, we will be versing old Captain in the ways of the Force and, and the uh, Mando. Star Wars and, and Mando language. <laughs> because if he, if he, if I see him watching anything else other than the Mandalorian on my uh, Disney account, I'm going to swat him. <laughs> <laughs> I fully believe it. <laughs> it's like I see, uh, uh, resume watching and you're watching like something else. <laughs> Swat. Oh, is it gonna fuck up? Oh, you've seen them all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I mean, I, I, you're not gonna watch. I all mean, the, the thing, the most thing that would happen is like, I would have to, like, you know how it says, like, we're resuming watching. Mm -hmm. You would probably be on episode, like, two or three of season one. I would right. just have to select a new episode. I mean, it's no big uh, okay. deal. Uh, I don't know if there's a profile select in Disney Plus, because you know how on Amazon or Netflix, mm -hmm. they have, like, Chris yeah. or whatever, and you have your own recommendations. Yeah, me and my brother have one. <laughs> Got our own profile, so we don't fuck our shit up. Right. Uh, that's like 10 minutes, right? 
Because I need to stop talking about Star that's at, Wars. That's at five. Okay, that's at yeah, five. that's that's about right. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, okay. Yeah, I actually fucking started it this time. <laughs> good job. Yeah, you, you, back. you have your you have your job back too because of that shitty fucking noise. Dude, as soon as you saw it last episode, yeah. as soon as I scroll up, <laughs> shot all the way like to the fucking, top. Yeah. Live. Live. You can lay down. Chill out, yeah. You. you don't you hear nothing. Down. You don't but, hear uh, nothing. Live. We have some shit on the agenda for today. And uh, do, you, do you do you want to get the, okay? The question is: Do you want to be intrigued, or do you want to laugh and be creeped out to your core first? So, intrigued or question, laughing, answer. and then eventually creeped out to your core. Let's do the creeped out to the core first. Mm-hmm. Let's do that. Okay. Because it's also going to intrigue me. So. Oh, it will. Hopefully, it's a good transo. Liv is taking a seat. There you go. Yeah, good girl. All right, so. Yeah, let's get creeped out. Go to my file explorer that's right next to Dex. Oh, shit. And uh, open that video real quick. The can- <laughs> oh, sure I've make, seen this. You, make, pause it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is. This oh. is the media God damn it. Uh, drag it up to that, to that screen so I can see it because. I've also seen this it probably is. like 10 or 15 times, and every single time, the laugh, just, I, I just hear it echoing in like yeah, his depth. Yeah, head. Dude, it's uh. so, he starts to turn into like an evil demon. I was literally laughing. thinking that. I was Dude, literally okay, thinking so, that. Uh, I think if there is anything as a demon, this is the guy. This is a demon. This is the guy. This is a demon. You always think about, he like... He looks like one, too. Like, if you look... I'm not trying to be mean, but if you look at his <laughs> face, like, his eyes are, like, he sunk in. He has icy blue White well, Walker eyes well, not only that, Game of Thrones, his eye, his eye, eyes, are, His eyeballs are, like, sunk back into his, like, eyelids. I he just... Lizard. Lizard. He is. He's one of those transformation yeah. lizards. 100%. I have no doubt. Okay, so... Me too. Uh, right before we play this, this is a TV evangelist dude who spreads the word of the good news. He's one of, like, the biggest yes. out there. He's, and like, he's one been of the caught biggest. so many times just being blatantly... Uh, blatantly flaunting his money. Like, have you, have oh, you yeah, seen... Oh, yeah, his uh, uh, private jet. Yeah, 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 that video? Yep. Yeah, that was an H3H3 breakdown. Yeah. I remember watching that. And uh, it was just some reporter asking, he's like, why, why do you have to pr- uh, fly a private jet? Why aren't you... Because he don't want to fly on a tube full of demons. <laughs> I forgot that was his reason. A yeah, tube other, full of demons. Other than yeah. his fucking egotistical, narcissistic ass, he also believes, I think he legitimately believes, that oh, 100%. That uh, 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 a coach is filled with demons. I do too. I also think it's a metaphor. I also think it's a metaphor. I talked to my coworker about this the other day. I thought day. you were about to say I talked to I talked to the TV no, evangelist no, himself. No, 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 no. I am now a reptile. No, well, <laughs> who knows? Yeah, who knows? <laughs> Add some editing to my eyes to make it to make I'm a, I'm going to try to do that. <laughs> I'm going to try to do that. And do 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 it to mine too. Shit, I forgot what I was about to say. Uh, you oh, said no. you talked to your coworker. Yeah. So, like people like this make mm-hmm. so much money that they live in a different reality than us. Mm-hmm. Like a, a completely different because reality. First off, he's like they don't make two million dollars a year. Like they may make two hundred million dollars like, in six months. So like, you can't even imagine the kind of lifestyle they live. So like, on a he may actually echelon. think, yeah, he may actually think it is full no, of. No, I know that's why. That's why I said it. I legitimately think because there are some people that are so rich that are on. You they can't think imagine. they're on. Yeah, they think they th- also think that they're on like a different level. Like hundred percent. Just imagine. You're protected by the church. You're well, tax exempt. Yeah. You have all your money's all protected. Revenues yeah, all your money's you. protected. And you're protected by the church legal wise. Yep. No matter dude, that motherfucker could have killed 50 <laughs> people and we uh, we don't know about. And it. I'd believe it. I I <laughs> I'd believe it after, 100%. After watching this, I believe it. BKL does not actually think this guy killed anybody. I do. <laughs> <laughs> He has skeletons in the basement. We're man. not endorsing it. <laughs> no defamation. No defamation, but this guy's a fucking maniac. No okay. defamation, just speculation. 
<laughs> no defamation. Specama- specamation. Yeah, specamation. Specamation. All right, let's 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 roll this evil film. Yeah, let's get into this Okay, demon. so this guy, this demon. He, he obviously didn't want Trump to lose. Oh, yeah, obviously. So I think it was an off-duty reporter who asked him – I don't know what question he asked him, but he was like, what do you think about – Biden winning or something, and this is what happens. The media said what? <laughs> <laughs> the, the laugh, media bro. Said Joe Biden's president. <laughs> and I love how everyone's just following along. <laughs> this is why I don't like church. Everyone looks like a cult member. Dude, now, if you would like cool. to join the cult of BKL, <laughs> you have you have to watch watch Leon Lush's take on this. Dude, I want somebody. I, I bet this has already happened, but whenever he's laughing, his jaw to like stretch like a scary movie. Oh, it had it. Oh God. That's terrible. That's terrible. That's what I picture whenever he started laughing. That's what and I turn, me turn it into like one of those demons from uh like Paranormal Activity where he just gets all oh. gray and like Stop. black. No, like no. his eyeballs just get black. No, or, or like the uh the dude from Insidious that red uh, oh, devil dude. Yeah. And that oh, dude man. and that music playing in the background. <sighs> dude, dude, dude. We need to make like a scary movie. Oh man. yeah. That'd oh. be dope. Uh, Let's do it. But we <laughs> I don't God, know how the fuck creepy. I'm gonna segue, because that that, that cre- it creeped me to my core. We should start laughing. <laughs> 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 oh, dude, I, that was that was really on on point. Yeah, Shit. That, we need to close this VLC out. Yeah, dude. that's like that. that we need how to delete this that? file. That, that would hurt my throat. <gasps> dude, it was like his voice was distorting. It was just going. Demon. A dude full of demons. Dude. He's a demon, Chris. He's a demon. So it, Damon. So he's like a Catholic. Damon. Or what? What's his religion? Uh, I don't think he's a. Maybe like a. Or is he like his own? Maybe religion? like a Baptist. Baptist. Maybe. He sounds like a Baptist. I don't know. I don't. I mean, my family's Baptist. He sounds like I a think Baptist. He's, not the craziness, but I'm talking about that. Yeah, accent. he's not Catholic because. Like he sounds. I see southern. him. I see him wearing like regular clothes. Like he was wearing a suit. You, yeah, you don't see like Catholic priests wearing suits. Yeah, Catholic priests always wear. Like, they wear that black like black that, suit with that. Yeah, with that, that thing, white thing. Like all the, the time. Yeah. That's crazy. That's like a uniform. And they probably have little kids in their closets. I definitely agree with you. Have you seen the uh, the documentary The Keepers? Mm-mm. Watch that. It's on Netflix. It's fucked up. It, I, I it, believe it made it. me it's probably some Epstein style it is. shit. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's what so goes gross. on. That's what goes on. But uh, that that's too fucking depressing. So let, let's go. I wanted to do the second TikTok spotlight in the uh, in the broke knock life history. The first spotlight. I thought you were about to do the Mario. It's been forever since I played Mario too. I don't remember the last time I played Mario. Man, it's been forever. The last time I heard the Mario theme song was that ping pong TikTok thing where there were there were these two guys going back and forth and they accidentally did do 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 like Oh went, yeah, I think I've seen that. Yeah. <laughs> that was the last time I thought oh, of man. the Mario theme song. That BK is getting back at me. That BK from BKL. We serve burgers now, bitch. <laughs> All right, so we're going BKL, to the BKL, we've got the meats. <laughs> we've got the meats, and we beat our meats. <laughs> we beat our meats. Let's pull up the TikTok. Because as I said... The shit shock. The, uh, uh, the first spotlight, I don't know if you remember, but it was the Cheese God. Do you remember Cheese, Cheese God? God? It was that... Uh, I think he's from... 
this black dude. He's from uh, uh, Ghana. His parents are from Ghana, I think. And uh. then he, like, he was, like, homeless. He has, like, a mental illness. And he was covering his car in, like, this styrofoam shit. And then someone, like, went to go save him. There was, like, donations. You don't remember any of that? We watched this on the podcast? Yeah, I think. I swear. I don't know if it was Wesley era or you, I think you might have come right after that. Because you would recognize if I said Cheese God. Yeah, I don't recognize that. You don't remember our car with, like, a whole bunch of insulation and stuff? Okay. So that, this, we was, need to, I, this is before I need to your see time. That. So now this is, this is I actually need to see better. That. <laughs> this is better because this is your first – TikTok spotlight, Ooh. Uh, the Gramps slash broke. I'm getting my seat pop slash Captain. TikTok basement spotlight extreme extravaganza. Three, two, one. Okay, wait, wait, wait. before you play that, a backstory. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Parkinson, you wanted to delve into this last episode. Yeah, I want to know. You what... wanted to delve into it really bad, but but I needed to keep this. For a full spotlight. Yeah, I wanted to delve delve so, into your your personal. So, uh, I I haven't delved too deep into this because I wanted to organically find out about some of this, but I've watched enough to get a gist of what what's going on. So this dude, I think he's he's around our age, like twenty three, twenty four, and that is his actual voice. And I think, I I don't know this. Don't fucking rail me, but I think he has some sort of, like, autism that makes him fucking insanely smart because he's, like, a Tesla oh. person. Oh, like, shit. dude, this motherfucker creates electricity. Oh. Like, he has wireless FM that's transmitters. Oh, that's an FM transmitter? Uh, in his backyard, he has, like, towers of, like, copper wrapped. And then he's oh, like, shit. watch as I build this wireless radio transmitter. And then he turns it on, and it's like... And it's like... This is and this actually works, and he's powering like a 1920 like phonograph. What? It's crazy. So th- there are so many uh, like inventions of his. I don't know where to start. So I'm just we're just gonna go through a few of them, and then y'all will get the gist. Someone give this guy some money so he can dude, do some real shit. I'm, uh, that's what I'm saying, man. Okay, like think so, of what this dude could make with some real money, dude. On. Uh, okay, dude. I know there's some billionaires out there who could. Uh, Elon. You yeah he could. Elon Musk could. Utilize this guy to the full, uh, to his fullest potential. Yeah, just make this dude a playroom. And, exactly, and give him a lot of money and, and let him and play. What you're about to watch is what he does with his own like, uh, like he doesn't have a lot of money. Right. Like he has this is like DIY like. Yeah, it says DIY. Jank, yeah, jank remodeling electricity shit. So uh, let's play this. This is about to be dope. It's finished remodeling my room. He kind of sounds okay, like okay. So Elmo. this is his room. Before the walls were cinder block. This is not music. It's all like. Oh, it's uh, it's old uh. It's old Mickey Mouse. Mm-hmm. Like he just. It, there will be fabric that covers this in that pattern. Like I think if you gave if you set this. This is what the walls look like before. If you set this guy with a whole bunch of building material, he could build a house, like, by himself. Oh, I'm sure. Like, electricity, plumbing, everything. Like, he probably made that. That's really not safe. I saw him repairing (laughs) that. That's really not safe. I see why they added more of a uh, a cage around the fans. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) It's really not safe at all. A lot of the stuff you see, you're like, dude, this guy is going to die. look at that. 1906. Why does he have so much old shit? He's obsessed with it. He loves making the shit work. It's impressive. But look at the, like, condition. Try bringing that to your house party. Yeah, that house party yeah, we have come, change. Yeah, we have come a long way in technology. Yeah, dude. And that's simple technology compared to a fucking computer. Compared to the bullshit that's recording this. <laughs> dude, that fucking, that, that iPad Pro is, like, that's like cutting-edge technology. That's what cutting-edge technology is. And this was probably cutting-edge technology back then. Oh, yeah. Think of that. Well, that wasn't even that long through, ago. Let's go through some more. 
Dr. Parkenstein's oh, look at his pupils, five. dude. Had to make that's blue. why he's so smart. He is well, fucking. I think that water. too. He is fucking so in it, yo. I can only imagine what the fuck that dude sees. Dude, Whoa. because he's a scientist, so I imagine he probably has done a lot of when research and made his own shit. No. Add in eight ounces of pure shellac. Look at him. He's making you can crazy buy this on shit. Or eBay. Where do you think he's got? He got these ideas. <laughs> okay, but what? What is he you, making? You, though? What is? We this? need to circle back Pour around to that because the the, the, the like, like the Greeks, like all the uh, speed up the, process. the uh, the you philosophers that you read about. The yeah, they all did something similar. When the glue cools, like they drank a concoction and kiss kiss God. Apply the glue with a paintbrush. No way, he made glue. Dr. Parkinson's tip of the day number five. Wait, what did he just make? Glue. He made glue. Liquid gl glue. A quart of water. To what this the water, fuck? Add one ounce of Dude, ice. imagine how horrible his house smells. <laughs> Dude, I bet it's yeah. so toxic in there. Dude, yeah, this guy's borax. probably gonna die, man. When the he, that, dude, Elon, protect this man. Water. Give him like a ventilation system. Yeah, all he needs is just a gas mask. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ship him a crate, bro. This, guy, this guy's manufacturing glue. <laughs> what is that? Salami? Oh no. Pepperoni? Boil this mixture until your shellac dissolves in it. You can also stir this to speed up the process. Okay, let's Your go. Your shellac. Let's go you can add more shellac if the mixture is too thin. He's, he's speaking. When the angry. glue cools, it should be Alien. about this consistency. Yeah, oh, liquid glue. glue. Apply the glue with a paintbrush. Wow. All right. Okay, today I'm going to build a Tesla Spirit radio. No way. If you would like to build one yourself, um, the list of parts you will need is in one of my previous posts. He's building one of this those things that. This is what I will be building mine on. You'll also need a soldering iron. So he's building a Tesla Spirit Here's radio. Here's what one antenna should look like. If he's building what I think if it is. If you build this, make sure to map the so. antenna terminals one inch apart from each probably other. Probably is, dude. And make sure they're next to each other. He's probably doing beyond what you think. When you're finished soldering, it should look something like this on the <laughs> other side. He's a fucking maniac, man. When you How finish, do you know your that? Radio should look something like this. I've seen him like look through notebooks and stuff, and this guy is like, he's a he's a modern day genius. Yeah, but how did he learn this shit? The spirit radio is he says so he's self taught. Yeah, how do you just start tinkering with it? He said good. books, books and books and books. By the way, did anybody else notice? And actually, words? like doing it, you uh, know. That was not photoshopped. It's crazy. I okay, didn't see any today words. I'm going to build a Tesla spirit let's go, radio. let's go now. I want to see some electricity. If you would like. Dr. Parkinson's tip of the day number four, how to make cloth and silk okay, let's waterproof. Go. This may work on other fabrics, right, let's too. Go, down. go back. I will be down. Press the back button. Right there. Okay. Go to one that looks like he's fucking with electricity. There, there's one that's like outside. Yeah, let's do that oh. one. Oh, that's the shit that he built. No one Here's how to build a monitor. Like a oh, 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 go back. This is just a list of materials. When you're not go down. Ooh, what the fuck? What is that? Testing the vacuum tubes off of my transmitter I'm building. Vacuum tube? He's building a tran- So is he building like, one of, not a vacuum cleaner, but like, to make like a vacuum, like space, like a vacuum. I wonder if that's what, what he's about to do. What is that? What is that? What the fuck are you reading, my guy? What does that mean? Like, to him, going through all that is like, yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense, yeah, yeah, yeah. 507 Z1211 makes perfect sense. Now I'm going to test the line voltage. <laughs> He's getting like 115 Whoa. volts. Is he? I thought that was five. I couldn't. I couldn't see what I was reading. Oh, it said 110 to. It was in between 110 and 115. Maybe I was reading the wrong Testing numbers. Testing the vacuum between. tubes off of my Let's go to the next one because there's there. like two more. This oh, this was that thing. Yeah, that he had in his room. Yeah. This one will be more powerful than the last one. This is an AM transmitter. I think. Are those capacitors this. on the back? Those like bulb-looking things. Milliampers. 
See those bulb looking things? I wonder if that's capacitors. Like old school capacitors. I don't know what capacitors are. They like hold electricity, so like. So that's where it would Or they convert it. I don't really know what they do. You would see electricity in those things if it was working. Here's my schematic. What the fuck? That makes sense to you? <laughs> what, if, what if somebody gave you that? Could you build it? It's easy, uh, bro. It's easy, bro. Yeah, I think I just framed that because it looks like art. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go to the next one. That's... This one will be more this, this is blowing my mind. Man, all these old songs. What the hell were people thinking making this stuff? I know. I, I guess people were just wanted to exercise their like vocal limits, and they didn't like rhythm has wasn't really like that involved. I, I don't know. No, that uh, that okay, dude. Yeah, but who would make this song? This this just sounds creepy, and it looks like the uh, that the uh, the disc says God. That's on that it. song I was talking about, the Insidious. Yeah. That song really creeps me out. Let's, let's skip that. Yeah, it's so it. creepy. Like that's what I mean. Like it's creepy, who, but I, I guarantee. I mean, they didn't think it was creepy. You when, know? Who, whenever this song came out way back then, it was a top. Hit. I could not see anybody sitting on their porch enjoying a cup of tea or coffee to this. Well, I mean, they wouldn't be hearing it outside like that. They would most likely hear it in like a fucking ballroom and fucking get jiggy with it. I guess. I get jiggy with it. What? Hell no! I'd be. I'd like be, there'd, there'd be dance routines. Yeah, I'd be tiptoeing through the window out that motherfucker. That's for real. Listening to the radio that I fixed from the 20s. From the 20s? So he fixes this shit. Do you know Marilyn Monroe and uh, Hugh Hefner were born in 1926? I didn't know they were both born. 1926. I would think Hugh Hefner is like way older. 26. That's crazy. What's even creepier about Marilyn Monroe is she was born in 1926 and died in 1962. Why is that weird? Oh. That's fucking... <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> the planets are aligned. They are, motherfucker. Stay off of Reddit. No, it's fun. I, it's fun sometimes. Apparently something big is going to happen in December. This December 21st. They say something big is going to happen every December, December 21st. I said December, was it tw December 21st, the uh, 2012 thing? Uh, I'm not sure. Look at this vehicle he's in, dude. Oh, yeah, he casually drives that everywhere. Okay, so he can obviously drive. Yeah. Like, he's... I, I just think, you know... You know, what, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think there's just... He's not all there, you know? Yeah, like, yeah I can, like, I like can see very, why. Like, socially inept. Yeah, I can I see think. why. If anything, he's very, like, socially inept. Yeah, but Musk, I mean, dude, you need I to would, give this dude a job. I would take socially ineptness to be, like, a fucking genius like this. Yeah, no. Nah, this guy can, like, fucking fix... <laughs> Dude, that guy's a fucking G. He's driving a 1920s thing. He's fixing 1920 AM transmitters. He's building wireless FM. I heard to see a video of oh, look at his pupils. I thought he was big. about to say, this is Dr. Parkinson and welcome to Badass. Welcome <laughs> to Jackass. Welcome to Badass, Jesus. Dr. Yeah, welcome to Jackass. <laughs> Alright, let, let, let's close it. We'll, we'll welcome do another, to the Dukes of Hazard. We'll do another uh, delve into this dude later. Uh, let, let's let's go. Uh, let let's do a little like some funny ones from my from my favorites. Dr. It's mind blown. That little favorites tab right next to the Instagram thing. Go up. All right there. I don't know what I favorited recently, so let's uh let's go to the first one. <laughs> Me walking into school after ripping the bong 15 minutes ago. <laughs> Pro, everyone can <laughs> smell you. Uh, this isn't this isn't that good, but I just related 
related to it very, <laughs> very, very heavily. <laughs> Let's go down. This is amazing. Uh, Rip to Alex Trebek yeah, to a true a household a name legend. Day. Yeah, for real. There's a daily cash prize of one thousand dollars and fuck. No shit. And fuck. Call now and play phone Jeopardy. She drank the poison that Captain Hook intended for Peter Pan. Tinkerbell! What? Alex? Fuck him. Team Jeopardy. Fuck him. 24 hours a day. And call this number. So this was promo is for Jeopardy. Watch it 24 hours a day. There's a daily cash prize of $1,000 and fuck. Fuck. No shit. Oh, dude, this is this game is incredible. That uh, sea game, sea of thieves. Yeah, sea of thieves. Yeah, yeah. That sounds like IGP. Captain. He's got his gun on and everything. Chill. Chill the fuck out. God, it's a, he's got a shark on the front. <laughs> all right, all right. Captain! How true is this? You... That's me at the G-Man's place. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. That's so true. They're so fucking loud. Dude, dude it's extremely loud, man. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is a genius. I love this guy's comedy. Is this the same guy that you sent me, uh... Yeah. Earlier? The, the bong rip. Yeah. That dude's sweating. Yeah. I probably had that on the favorites. I just thought this was very smooth. Probably gonna have to skip the song. Oh, I should have yeah. forgot. We can just skip it. Fuck it. Oh, wait, skip this too. Fuck. <laughs> wait, we gotta what? <laughs> oh, I can't do boo. How am I supposed to do that? You have to imitate. It's a mini game on it. <laughs> <laughs> they love it. <laughs> they love it. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. They love it. <laughs> Alright, all right, I'm gonna die. Can't stop. <laughs> What the fuck? The young boy fans. Put the money in my ass! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, that was a big stone. I love how he just snatched it from him. Put the money in my ass! <laughs> the dude cracking up laughing. He goes from confused to. Put the money in my ass! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh see, yeah. This is it. Let's end on this one. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit funny. <laughs> <laughs> when you knew the D was too big. <laughs> the drool, coughing his lungs the out. The rule is so fucking true. <laughs> it's a little bit funny. And that's everyone around. Oh yeah, and dude, the, the, <laughs> the red face movement, too. This movement is oh, so yeah. fucking true. It's a little <laughs> funny. All the can, smiles and all that. We can end the the Gramps slash broke slash captain slash extravaganza funny. slash spotlight slash Dr. Parkinson special.
We can end that right now and go to uh, go to our normal regular bullshit. <laughs> it's a little bit funny. funny. Oh, what a day! What a day! Give me your Let's money. See. We got uh, we got Captain's reaction to our TV evangelist. Oh yeah, yeah. We we, we talked briefly about fucking Xbox and how insane it is. And oh, I, yeah. I was I was expressing I was, I was expressing to you all of my fr- all, all of my frustration <laughs> earlier, and you you get it. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Because nobody nobody fucking gets it. Because I I don't none of my friends are really like really into like supreme or exclusive shit. So like I don't I'm not around that. But you you get it. Yeah, so, like, I get it. Like whenever I was explaining all that like ad in the cart, you were like. Okay, so this is what happened. So I'm on this app. Yeah, and I'm, explain it to the people. And I'm notified. I'm not going to tell you what the app is because I'm not going to let y'all get a fucking chance before me. So I'm on this app, and it notifies me. It's when WhatsApp. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Go to go, Download WhatsApp. That's what it is. So it I'm pretty sure they've been banned, when, so they can't give us money. Oh, fuck it. It notifies me when, where, uh, anything was, anything involving, like, a console or whatever exclusive shit, whatever exclusive shit is, like, uh, is ready. So right. like it gives me a notification instantly. It's very very good on that. So I get a notification probably three time to- three separate times yesterday from Walmart for the Xbox Series X for me to buy. Then that new some bitch. That new shit that uh, that keeps selling out. Yeah, and that everybody I, and their mama and their grandma wants. I timed myself. First time it was like thirty seconds because I didn't think I would have to haul ass Actually that, that hardcore. Fast. So I I got the notification, ran over to my computer, had everything ready, had my I had everything ready. So I missed out the first time. Second time, it brings me to add to cart. So I'm like, I'm dude, I'm shaking. Yeah, shaking. Because I see everywhere, dude. I told you earlier there was this dude that sold. I don't know if he took it off or maybe Amazon reported it, but I'm pretty sure it would sell out. You know what I mean? Yeah, Amazon I'm sure thing? it would sell out. I'm pretty sure somebody bought that. Yeah. So. I saw it was listed uh, an Xbox Series X that was bought by fucking bo- bots, twenty one ninety nine, and somebody fucking so bought much that. Money. Somebody bought it, so they're they're going for that fucking high price right now. So whenever I saw the add to cart thing on Walmart, that's been the most consistently open like in stock thing. So I was like I was like fucking shaking. <laughs> I was I was clicking everything. I had my credit card in. I typed in my card number. And then it refreshed the page, and then it said, this item is currently out of stock. Oh, shit. Dude, if I get – if I beat That's y'all so motherfuckers to I the completely, I completely thing, agree with this. If I beat you to the fucking point where I can click the add to cart, and I'm in my checkout, I'm in the checkout page. I feel like it should be reserved. Like one – however many you have selected yeah, should be reserved in your cart. If it's in your cart, it don't matter. I know. So I feel like that's processing. just how I feel. Yeah, it should be I, reserved. I, I agree. Because whenever it was in my cart, it said only one left. Act fast. And that's, a, that's what right. the fuck I was doing. Not first come, first serve, literally. Like, first come, first serve, yeah. If you, it's like picking it up in store. Like, first, was, co- first come, first serve. If you go I picked it up. It's in my fucking it, basket. Yeah, thank you. I mean, somebody could steal it, but that's a fucking high crime. You know? Right. It's ridiculous. The same thing happens with Supreme. Yeah, same so, thing. So you get me. You get I've, me. Yeah, I've been on Supremes like two years ago whenever I was really big into buying like everything. Not everything, but a lot of things from like every drop, mm-hmm. which is every Thursday mm-hmm. whenever they're releasing. I would be on the site like 10 minutes before the drop actually happened. Dude, and it just... And so box, I would be man. refreshing like... Up until, like, the very last minute, I would start refreshing the page. And so, once it actually went live, I would be in there as soon as I could, add it as soon as I could. Like, the things that I would want the most, I would add that first and then check out and buy that. And things that I wanted less, more, I would go back after the fact and rebuy those. So, I was paying double shipping just to make sure that I got what I wanted. Whatever you got, what you wanted. Have you ever? Did you ever? Uh, did you ever get extra and then like resell it? No, that's the hard thing to do with Supreme. Is they only let you like so if they release, like let's say they had like three colorways of this shirt. You yeah. Can, you can only get one. Yeah. 
one so, in one size. So have you ever bought something? Because you said that you pay StockX. That's how you get other stuff. I don't know how the you resellers can't resell do it. From that? Yeah, you I can. You, you could, can. Okay, okay. Because that, that's that's the app that I have. Stock I just X. keep it. I just keep it because they're uh, they're always gonna double in value. Like one of the book sacks I have right now, I pay one fifty four. But and do it's you going ever plan like on actually three hundred and thirty? But do you actually plan on selling them? If push comes to shove, I would. It's just a book sack. So 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 if you paid, what what's the average price for a Supreme book sack? One fifty. One fifty. So retail. If, if your Supreme uh, book sack from a year ago hit fifteen hundred, would you? I'd sell, sell it? it immediately. Yeah, I would sell it. I would no, sell, I'd sell it immediately. Hundred <laughs> percent. Okay, so you're not like a Supreme hoarder. No, it's already doubled its profit. I mean, it's up to like three hundred. It's like three hundred and thirty bucks. I right would now. only sell it if I doubled my profit, not just made my money back. I would want yeah, profit. I'll, yeah, I want a, a lot of profit. Like, if you yeah. want my book sack, yeah, it's a bu- that's a me. book sack. It, yeah. it would be different if it was like uh, I was about to say I've socks, got some, but I really like socks. I've got like some autographed like a, skateboards. Ooh, I paid like ninety six bucks for each one of them. I bet those are worth a lot of money now. They eventually will be because mm-hmm. only a certain amount were made. Well, I bet they're at least you can get your money back. From oh, Oh, hundred percent. Yeah. Hundred percent, get your money back. Usually, and with I'm never gonna. Clothing, they're never gonna touch like a pair of trucks. They're never gonna touch those skateboards, and they're never gonna see outside, mm. unless if I move. Yeah, I mean, why, why would you? I'm not fucking those up. Why would anybody buy a Supreme autographed skateboard and actually? Well, skateboard? it's not a Supreme skateboard. It's just like I bought. So the the one that I just bought that I'm waiting to come in. Mm-hmm. So this guy, he's younger than both of us. He just became pro, for uh. Open up that pro real quick. Oh shit! I didn't even notice. Okay, that was just freaking me out. For a um, you said, "Dude went pro." Yeah, his name is Jagger Eaton. I forget uh, what company, the Heart Supply. I think. I think he went pro. For I think that. I actually know that. Really? Yeah, he's like. That was one of my favorite. Uh, like eight, that's like the like bleeding 18. hearts. The bleeding heart, like kind of art. Uh, they have a heart, and no, I think you're thinking a mystery. Maybe. They had like a, uh, like a thunderbolt through the heart. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I think that's, you're that's thinking of mystery. Thinking of. I only uh, remember art style. I think it's the heart supply. I think they're just the heart. Like they have some of the most simple, simplest graphics on there. They're skateboards, but it's the graphic is placed in a strategic location that gets the least amount of wear on the skateboard. That's nice. That's that's, that's really fucking smart. Well, I just bought. Yeah, I agree. I just bought that. Recording. You got a special package. A special package. Special package. Okay, hold on. Let me wrap this up. <laughs> what could that be? What time? 17.56. Oh, shit. <laughs> so s- Special package. What'd you order? Any more, any more stuff from Brazil? No. Food? I haven't ordered anything. Dude, what if I walk out there and the Xbox Series X is right there? I highly doubt it. Don't get your hopes up. Uh oh. Well, it might be the Xbox Series X. Okay, hold on. Oh. Oh, no shit. <laughs> Just shut her out. <laughs> well. Whoa! This is this is a uh, this a is timely uh, this this is time time nice. It's time nice. Uh, let me get get your shit brought up. Shit. So sh- I'm trying to get her Instagram up. Yeah, I forgot you got those too. I I, I expected it to come in way. Where did it come later. from? From fucking Norway. Oh wow. Okay, so I'm I don't know how to fucking from Oslo, Norway. Uh, twenty three year old illustrator. I I I I'd butch. I'm gonna butcher the fucking Instagram name. So it's S O S I A L A N T E N N E. I'll put it on the screen. Uh, Joanna Warburg. Put your hand up so people will know where it's gonna go. Bam, it's going to go right there, right in front of my fucking face. Okay, so. (laughs) I entered in this contest, 
and it was just like I should have uh, done the same damn thing because the art pieces were dope, all of them. Yeah, yeah. So you know those, you know those, uh, those contests where you know that you're not gonna win, where it's just yeah. like an Instagram description, it's like tag, tag two friends, follow these pages, and you enter for a chance to blah blah blah. Right. So I have like five thousand social media accounts. So I, I, I took, I took advantage, took advantage of that, and uh, I used, I used them to put in a whole bunch of entries because i mean i do that with everything yeah I mean, why you, gotta, you gotta you gotta do what you gotta do yeah and i fucking won and this is the first time me seeing these are these are prints whoa <laughs> see if there's anything else in there oh my Dude, this is so fucking cool, man. No, no, that's it. Yeah, that's not cool. So, it's white Jesus, black Jesus, uh, Post Malone, and, and they, uh, Tyler the Creator, and it's all in, in her uh, art style, which is part of the reason why. Well, the Jesus almost looks like Post Malone. Almost. So this is, this Dude, is that's Tyler, so the sick. creator. Here, hold that. Yeah, please. Hold on. This is dope. Wow. Post Malone. Holy shit, bro. This is amazing. Look at this. Dude, these are so fucking incredible. Yeah, you got to get these framed. Oh, no doubt. Look at this, bro. These are amazing. Oh, look at that, man. That's official. Look on the back. The bottom left. Uh, bottom oh. That's like, uh, like, a, like a fucking imprinted stamp. Yeah, this is dope. Dude, thank you so much. That is so fucking cool. I'm going I'm to I'm frame these ASAP. That's a good way to end the episode. Damn. Shouts out, man. Thank you all for watching. The 24th episode of Broke Knock Life, uh, and I'm, I'm I'm thinking about doing a some special for the 25th episode. Yeah, show S show it to him on there. Smoke him if you got him. <laughs> <laughs> that is so dope. Jesus with face tattoos, bro. <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. I love the art style, man. I love it. I love it. Go follow her for real. And peace out, Girl Scout. People drift away, I can call it cabin All my fall, sitting here, sipping malls In the rear, I wish I would've never caught my friends That fucked me over in my brain and made a fault, give me brain And hope you make me come like a talk Scrolling through the gram and hating all the thoughts Fame is something that you bought Almost got into a feud with Aladdin fought Over something stupid, I don't think I'm Cupid But I help more people than myself I need to buy some tools I don't know, something newish Maybe date a girl that's newish Maybe moving